Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. My viewer photo for today is what it looked like at least at one point within Bend. Now the clouds have definitely changed for us as we've moved through the day and we've seen partly cloudy and we're moving into mostly cloudy for tonight. We have better visibility on the Outback camera than we did at this time yesterday. Not seeing any showers right now and that's one of the differences between tonight and last night is we had a few clouds on the Cascades and that was coming with a few showers. Nothing for us. Now we're starting to see the clouds come in that could actually bring us and most everybody else in the rest of the region a chance for some showers. Here's a look at the satellite and radar image and as you can see we're mostly to partly cloudy but we're becoming mostly cloudy as this comes right on in. Really not expecting to see anything within the region until we get to those early morning hours of tomorrow. Another thing that will be similar for us will be our temperatures. We made it into the mid 50s today and that seems to be the similar temperatures we'll take with us tomorrow and into Friday before we start to warm up a little on Friday and in through the weekend. Here's where our winds are right now, 14 miles per hour. Things should stay calm for us until this next system comes in. This is where we are right now, sort of in between the trough we had yesterday and this one that is moving in tonight into tomorrow. Then as we go from Thursday into Friday, you'll notice we get into this very, very shallow ridge. This is where we see a break. Our temperatures warm just a bit and we have another system sitting right there that's just waiting to come in and give us a chance for some mountain snow. Here's what we're looking at on that future track. You can tell nothing but a few clouds until we get to right around six o'clock. This is where we see snow on the Cascades and then you can obviously see some snow in parts of the region with this part just being mostly cloudy at this point. That changes for us as we go through the morning. By the time we get to around one o'clock, we go to more isolated showers and you can see that some of them come out and they turn into rain and some come out and they turn into snow. It's just going to depend on where you are within the region. That backs off by 3 a.m. We have warmer temperatures, not as many clouds through the morning on Friday. However, once we get into the later part of the afternoon, early evening, we start to see the next system coming in, really anticipating that we'll see that Friday night into Saturday with another chance coming maybe on Monday. Here are your current temperatures, upper 40s, low 50s, mid 50s. We stay pretty average overnight tonight with a few clouds in the region, even with the cooler temperatures. Pretty much drop down right to where we should be. That would be 32 in Redmond, upper 20s to those mid 30s for our overnight temperatures. Same thing for tomorrow, upper 40s to mid 50s with that chance for showers, mixed showers depending on where you are. Warmer temperatures on Friday, a really good chance for those showers on Saturday, a potential break again on Sunday, and then showers returning again on Monday with those mid 50s once again.